Hello Capricorn, this is your mid-December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Capricorns, so keep that in mind, but this is for Capricorn, mid-December 2018, general reading for the masses. Capricorn, mid-December 2018, five-card spread. See what we got here is the beginning energy. Coming in. Hopefully this will be a positive reading. If not, we'll work through it. Let's see. Gain. Nine of Pentacles. Great card. Gain may be coming in. Maybe you're thinking about gain coming in. Maybe you're dealing with um, lucrative um, investments, uh, employment, Anything of that nature. It could also be gain in the emotional situation, even though these are not cups. When you got this card, it's a um, welcoming card. It's about wealth. It's about right before you get your um, final set settlement in life to where you want to be, uh, your secure situation. It's getting close to that for some of you. You still got a little bit to do. You're still going to have to work a little bit, but it's coming along. Now in the past, you're dealing with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be your air energy or someone taking on that energy. Could be an air sign. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But they are in reverse, and I'm going to clarify this. And I'll get to the others in just a second. I just like having... Uh, a clear thought on the one card, and then I'll bring them all together later. But the Knight of Knight of Swords, why are you there in reverse for Capricorn is the past. The person in reverse like this has a a sharp tongue. You know what I'm saying? They they can they can lash out. Sometimes you know. It could hurt. It could uh, wound. Knight of Swords in reverse. Why are you there? What happened? Why are you in reverse? King of Cups is involved. That could be a water sign or someone taking on an energy. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in the upright. So all this is telling me you got one person in reverse as a possible air sign and another one is in the upright that is a water energy can i get another card for the knight of swords and the king of cups in, in the past yeah it's like they're not working together they're not uh trying to think of a clear plan together they quit talking possibly or just plain stop working together maybe you're just not working with them either you're not thinking on them anymore. Because that is the Nine of Wands in reverse. That's like before you set off for something, when it's in the upright, before you set off for something, you're trying to contemplate on how you're going to work something out in a physical way, in an energetic way. When it's in reverse, you may not be even considering it, or they're not working on it. They're not considering it. Can I get another card? Or the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Why are you there? The Hangman. Stagnation, maybe? No. You're wanting to come out of stagnation. But it's like someone's not willing to put in the work. That's what I'm getting. The Hangman Reverse is, is coming out of stagnation, usually. But with these two together, I'm really thinking that people just aren't putting in the work or not really planning things out, not considering the cost of something. And I'm thinking everybody's just not putting on the effort. I think some of them may want to do one thing and another one wants to do another. And it's not having too much of a success with that. 
Because right there you got the six of wands in reverse. It's not no victory here. People don't work together in the past. There's just no victory. Obstacle, you think that would be the obstacle? Things aren't moving forward. A little probably a little chaotically. Everything's a little chaotic. So if it does move forward, it's gonna move forward in a in a you know a way that's not very easy. But the chariot in reverse, why are you there? As the obstacle for Capricorn. Why are you there? If you hear me stop talking, it's because I'm thinking. Yeah, someone dropped the ball on something. It's, it's more or less people just aren't working on anything. They're just not even considering it doing, you know, bringing up new ideas or anything. They're just dropping it with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's not even working with it. They're not going for it. There you are as the King of Pentacles. In the upright, steady, sound mind. Like I said, a good head on their shoulders, respected in the community usually, or for those around them. But it could be that you may just be the obstacle, maybe that you may just drop the ball on something because it's just not moving forward. You don't, maybe you don't think it's lucrative. Current environment. Money in reverse. So the current environment, you're not getting your wealth totally 100% yet. Now, I know you had that Nine of Pentacles of gain coming in. But the current environment, you're not feeling that. Feeling like something cost you. You feel like you haven't arrived at something. But remember, we did have that Nine of Pentacles, like I said. And it was in the upright. So the Nine of Pentacles in the upright as things will eventually move forward the way you want to. It hasn't quite reached the Ten of Pentacles, but you want the Ten of Pentacles. You want to reach your, where you want to be in life, and you don't feel like you have. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there as the current environment in reverse? Come on, why are you there? Oh, it's just too hard. It's such, such a burden. That's the Ten of Wands. You're carrying a heavy load. You're feeling like you got the world on your shoulders. Can I get another card? Queen of Wands. You got a lot of people around you. Maybe the Queen of Wands is giving you a burden because she's in reverse. Hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse. Can I get another card? Why is the Queen of Wands attached to the burden and money in reverse? I can see why. Queen of Wands can be a little costly, costly sometimes. And I get another card for that. Uh, you do not want a new start with this. It's like you feel like the world is not opening up for you. Negative things aren't leaving you and new things aren't coming in. You feel that way. These are mostly, I think, feelings. You feel like a burden, like I said. Outside influences, it's causing some of this. People aren't really uh, putting in the work, not being competitive. This is also known as a strife card, but it's in reverse. With the strife card, it also means com competition, going up against competition. And maybe there's not enough competitive situations out there where you can go for it. Or it could be that there is too much com competition. But I don't see I don't see that. I see if someone not really I don't see that there's a lot of out there that you can compete with. And maybe there's there's a shortage of somehow. Five of Wands in reverse. Why are you there is the outside environment, the situation in the outside. Wheel of Fortune. It also could be what is coming towards you is that there's not a whole lot of competition. For this wheel of fortune but there is still some luck there so for some of you a few of you just a few of you you could be coming out of strife or someone will maybe want to come out of strife with you and bring good fortune towards you for others there's just not a lot of competition there's not a lot of out there that you can go for to where you can get your fortune but let me get another let me get another card for Capricorn. The Strife card and the Wheel of Fortune. Why are you there? 
draconian anxiety. I feel a lot of you, even though there's not a lot of out there and you feel like, you know, you can't earn your money the way you want to, I'm feeling that some of you, even though the work is not out there just yet, that maybe your luck will change and you will come out of anxiety for some of you. But what it is, it's just that things aren't exactly the way you want them to be. And you're trying to you're trying to change your luck is what it is. Outcome. You're still gonna go over a little bit of a burden, but it's in the upright. Just like it's in the upright here. So you're gonna go ahead and start carrying that burden, that Saturn energy that's in your uh sign. You're gonna start carrying it up the hill and go for your, your gain. Remember we had gain in the beginning. To get gained, you have to carry things a little bit heavier at first, but it's getting there. Ten of Wands. Why are you there as the outcome for Capricorn? This is more or less work than it is anything. Page of Cups, you feel like your offers aren't coming in. You feel That's why you're feeling this burden, feeling like you got to carry the world on your shoulders, that work is very difficult because... It's, it's, it's not being handed to you. You're, you're going to have to work for your, your situation. A lot of Capricorns usually do, and they usually succeed. A lot of them do. The ones I know do. So the Ten of Wands, Page of Cups in Reverse, why are you there? For Capricorn is the final outcome. Maybe go to another reading right after this, but we shall see do a part two, at least maybe the next day for uh, Capricorn. And I get another card. Oops, there it goes. Ace of Wands. You may eventually get something, but it's not going to come easy, like I said. It's going to be there. It's getting better. But you're still thinking about that money situation. It feels like no one is just working with you. Everybody's working against you, and that you have to earn, really work for what you're earning, which is a no lie. Can I get one more card for the Ten of Wands, Page of Cups, which, you know, no one gave you this, most of you. A lot of you are able and ready to earn your income. You have the strong ability to do so, and even though... You're not getting messages of kindness or friendship or good offers. You may actually get another new one, a brand new one. And you may turn it down, though. You're not going to take anything that isn't solid. You're not, you're going to, because that's a seven of cups in the reverse. You're not going to accept just anything. You're going to be picky. Yep, and you're going to get justice. You're going to get your justice. You're going to get what's due. You're smart, Capricorn. You're not just going to take anything that's handed to you. I think you're going to realize it's going to take work, which most most things in life do. And I don't see you accepting anything that's handed to you. You're gonna you're gonna make sure it's it's right and just for you because you got the justice card here. You're going for what is owed to you in life. You're going to go for that cup. The cup of, I don't know, fulfillment. The ending card, you get the sun. The ending energy, you do get some happiness. After all the work and, and slaving along, Getting justice and not accepting negative offers or just offers that aren't fulfilling, you're going to work for what you're, you're going for. You're going to go up, you know, and, and get it. And you're going to get your happiness, the sun, at, at the end of the day. See, look, this, this reading is for hard-working Capricorns. Those who never had things handed to them. But the things that help them, the things that help, the more you have to work for something, the longer it lasts. 
in the end I see happiness here and I'm starting this is for mid uh, December and I think it's going to go on past December because I see cards of work and struggle but you do succeed at the end and get your justice and that is your reading Capricorn and I'll probably give you another one I may give you another one later on or even the next day but the internet's been acting crazy or my internet has it's been a struggle for me too but I don't see this as a negative reading I see it as a positive reading I see a hard-working Capricorn that reaches their goal remember we had the nine of Pentacles game go for the game talk to you later bye